I thought it was time for a channel update. First, I want to share my gratitude. Thank you so much for watching my videos. And if you've decided to subscribe, thank you for that. Thank you for the support that you give me through comments in the videos. Thank you too for following me on Facebook, for your emails, for your private messages that have encouraged me so much. I really do appreciate it. The channel would not be what it is today without you. Which leads me to the next thing that I want to share, why I do what I do. I primarily do this channel because I want to bring awareness of the game to America because not many people know about Mahjong or if they do know they think it's the solitaire game where you pick off pairs on your phone. That's not Mahjong. So I want to bring awareness. I want to share my passion for the game because I grew up playing it and I want to pay it forward. There are so many great benefits for playing Mahjong. I also love helping people learn to play, build their skills, gain confidence, and have fun. The next thing I wanted to talk about is why I chose the styles that I chose and also let you know what I'm going to be adding. I picked Hong Kong style because it's the easiest to learn, Japanese style because it's complex and strategic and it really pushes me. Uh, I chose National Mahjong League style because it is the most commonly played in America. And I chose Wright-Patterson style because I grew up playing that game. I'm going to be adding Mahjong competition rules this fall because I joined a group and I want to learn how to play and better my game. I learned from watching my videos too. That leads me to another thing. When you leave comments, especially constructive or not so constructive criticism, please know that I'm on a journey to master these. I I'm learning just like you. I have room for improvement just like you. And we all see things a little differently. We all make dif decisions differently. And we have our own strategies that we prefer. So when you leave criticisms, please season it with grace. That being said, I want to share about a post that I put on Facebook yesterday that prompted me to do this channel update. The post was about Patreon. If you don't know what Patreon is, I'll explain it. But I put a poll up there about Patreon to get an idea of what everybody thought about it. Patreon is a fan funding or crowdfunding for creators and artists. It's kind of like a... Um, a, a tip jar. So you would create a Patreon page and then you would create tiers of memberships where your members can pay a dollar a month, ten dollars a month, twenty dollars a month or what have you and then there would be exclusive content for them and the monies that they pay help to fund that particular creators work of art or whatever it is that they create. So I wanted to get an idea, as I said, from what everybody thought, and, and I got some great responses. Almost all the responses were positive, and so many people um, said how grateful they were for what I'm doing, and they'd be happy to support my channel monetarily. So I'm very, very thankful for that. One particular comment, though, made up my mind for me. They said that, they would be a Patreon if they could afford it, but they at this time in their life could not afford it. And they would be sad that they would miss exclusive content, but they would be happy for me. So to me, that was crushing and made me realize that I don't need that. And it makes me very uncomfortable to think about exclusive content, at least right now. So I decided not to do that. While I was watching the poll results though, I was listening to a YouTube live stream by Nick Nimmin. He's kind of my mentor for my YouTube channel. And he mentioned something new that Facebook is providing for some creators. It's called paid memberships. And so I decided to look into it and 
even though I don't qualify, I think you have to have 100,000 subscribers uh, to have that feature unlocked in your Creator Studio. For some reason, it's enabled for me. So I decided to activate it. So you can become a paid member. And if you so choose, you can support the channel monetarily now. And I wanted to share about that. But before I do that, I wanna explain how there are other ways that you can support the channel. It doesn't have to be monetarily uh, if you're not in a position to do that. And I would not expect that at all. I'm grateful that you've become part of the community just by watching my videos and for subscribing. That helps my channel immensely alone. So watching the videos, watching the commercials, giving me thumbs up and making comments, sharing about the channel, all those things help to elevate or give visibility to the channel and then YouTube promotes it and that's just kind of cyclical. So those things you can do just organically by watching the, the videos. And I'm grateful for all the time that you spend watching my videos for those reasons. And because you learn and enjoy the videos just as much as I do. Um, if you are in a position where you want to support monetarily, there are two ways that you can do that. And I just wanted to share about that. During live streams, you can give what's called a super chat, which is basically a one-time tip. So under the chat bar, there's a label that says top chat or super, uh, let me see, top chat or live chat. If you click that, it'll expand the chat window and there's a little gray dollar icon. If you click that, you can make a tip or a donation, a super chat and a dialog box will come up with a scale where you can identify how much you want your tip to be, and that goes to the creator. That is one way that you can make a donation, just a one-time tip or super chat. And then the other way is to become a paid member. This would be um, by clicking the join button, I believe on that same, in that same area, the bottom right corner, click join and you can become a paid member. It would be $4.99 per month. And that goes to the creator as well. I believe that YouTube takes a percentage of both Super Chats and the paid memberships, but I, I think it's a pretty nominal fee. But if you decide that you want to do that, I would be very grateful. Although I must say, I, I never wanted this channel to be about money. So that is not what's important to me. Having help to cover the costs for running the channel would be immensely appreciated, but it's not necessary. And I just don't want anyone to feel obligated to do that. But it is available there for you. People have asked, and so I just wanted to do a video about how you can support monetarily if you decide to do that. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next channel update, may all your picks be keepers.